Hello, welcome to Pena Productions. My name is Sina and I am a Swiss living in the US. Today I want to share my favorite Swiss bread recipe with you. This bread is called Zopf, which is the German word for braid. It's pretty easy to make and it looks great and tastes amazing. In Switzerland, we traditionally eat this bread on Sunday mornings for breakfast with butter and honey or jam. So let's get started! This recipe makes two loaves of bread. For this you will need 1000 grams or 8 cups of all-purpose flour, 14 grams or 3 teaspoons of active dry yeast or 1 cube of fresh yeast, 3 tablespoons of sugar, 1 tablespoon of salt, 150 grams or 2 thirds of a cup of butter, 2 eggs, 250 milliliters or 1 cup of milk, and 250 milliliters or 1 cup of water. First, start by melting the butter in a saucepan on medium-low heat. In the meantime, add the flour to a large bowl and then create a well with a spoon. Add the yeast and the sugar into the well. Add the salt to the rim of the bowl and make sure it doesn't touch the yeast. Combine the water and the milk. Then add an egg to the mixture and whisk with a fork. By this time the butter should be melted completely. Take it off the stove and add the water, milk and egg mixture to the butter. This mix is now the perfect temperature for the yeast. Now add a small amount of the liquids to the well and stir with a spoon until the yeast dissolves. Continue adding small amounts of the liquids to the bowl until everything is combined. Cover the bowl with a towel and let it sit for 10 minutes. In this time the flour fully hydrates and gluten bonds begin to develop. This is called autolyse and it makes it easier to knead the dough later on. Now we are ready to form the dough. Dump the mixture and any loose bits out onto the counter and begin to bring it together. Once everything is incorporated, begin to knead the dough. Knead the dough for at least 10 minutes. Don't give up at the 8 minute mark. If it feels like a workout, you are doing a great job. Once the dough feels smooth, form it into a ball and put it back into the bowl. Cover it with a damp towel or plastic wrap and let it rise for 1.5 hours. Then take the dough and slice it into quarters. Roll all of these quarters into long rolls. They should be about 30 inches or 80 centimeters long. Take two of them and lay one of the rolls over the other one forming a cross. Grab the two ends of the horizontal roll and cross them over the vertical roll. Then cross the vertical roll over the horizontal roll below the knot. Continue this process until the rolls are getting too short. Press them all together at the end. Transfer the top to a parchment lined baking pan. Add an egg yolk and one tablespoon of milk to a bowl 
and whisk to combine. Then brush the top with the egg wash. Let them rise for another hour, but this time don't cover it with a towel. Brush them one more time with the egg wash and then the bread is ready to go in the oven. Bake them at 200 degrees Celsius or 390 degrees Fahrenheit for 30 to 35 minutes. Take them out of the oven and transfer them to a wire rack. After waiting an hour for it to cool, let's cut into it. We are going to cut off two slices to try. I like spreading some butter on it before adding toppings like honey or jam. This bread stays good for about two to three days. I usually freeze one of the two loaves. To thaw, leave the top out overnight at room temperature and then bake for about 5 minutes at 200 degrees Celsius or 390 degrees Fahrenheit. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Don't worry.